Welcome to Apps in Law, I'm Brett Burney. Today's app is the recently relaunched iAnnotate 4, now a universal app for both the iPad and iPhone at $9.99. Anytime I talk to lawyers about the iPad, someone always asks about iAnnotate because the app has been around for a long time and was one of the very first apps for organizing and managing files on the iPad, and of course, annotating PDF files. The developers of iAnnotate, Branchfire, recently released a brand new app, which is effectively version four, and now just called iAnnotate. Uh, the older version was called iAnnotate PDF, and has been effectively retired. If you have an older version of iAnnotate, this is not a free update you must purchase iAnnotate all over again. Now, this isn't the first time an app developer has done this. It's a way to get new revenue rather than simply providing a free update. But if the app is worthy and useful, like iAnnotate, then this is a small price to pay to support the continued development of the app. The new app now supports Split View in iOS 9, as well as the Apple Pencil. There's also an improved signature tool. One of my favorite new features is Web Markup which basically opens a web browser in a new tab and lets you navigate to a web page. You can then convert the web page into a PDF and start annotating immediately. I've been doing this on the iPad for years, but first I would have to go to Safari, copy the URL, use another app to convert the URL to PDF, and then use the open in menu to send it to Goodreader or PDF Expert. Uh, this feature in iAnnotate is seamless and I actually get to stay in the app. The one thing I have always appreciated about iAnnotate annotate is the ability to customize the annotation toolbars. You can have multiple annotation toolbars and customize them with exactly the tools you want. Then you can quickly flip or toggle between them by swiping with your finger over the toolbar. I usually have a pen toolbar with several different colored pens and highlighters so I can switch between colors with a single tap. The one thing I have not always liked about iAnnotate is their odd file management screen. It's it's just never been intuitive to me. This new app improves it a little bit, but it takes extra brain power for me to get comfortable with the layout. Also, the new app placed all the settings for the app in the iOS settings app. I know this is a strategic decision by developers to aggregate all app settings in one location, but it's still not the norm, and I don't like being jerked out of the iAnnotate app when I just want to make a quick settings change. If you're already an iAnnotate fan, and I know there's a lot of you out there, it is a no-brainer to throw down another $10 for this new app. If you like iAnnotate, then you need to support its further development. Unfortunately, the new app does not automatically move or transfer your files from the old app. Branchfire suggests moving documents one at a time using the open in option. Uh, fortunately, both the old and the new versions of iAnnotate can reside peacefully together on your iPad. You can purchase iAnnotate by clicking the link below. Be sure to visit appsinlaw.com for new app reviews and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.